Hi, my name is Cinda Valley. Welcome to my studio, my classroom, and I now call it Home Sweet Home as well. For the first time in 30 years, I'm living where I paint. I feel like it's really the only thing I was good at, so uh, it was natural that my life should go in that direction. To be an artist, I found fate kind of pushes you along the art path. Uh, it just kind of happens to you rather than anything you choose. If I didn't paint every day, I'd feel weird. I'd feel uncentered. I think for me, oil painting has become an acceptable expression of a natural tendency to obsession. It means I'm a perfectionist. I don't stop till I've got it. I work with traditional oils following a traditional process that's been around since 1450, actually. The difference between now and then is that the materials are much safer and they cause the paint to dry much quicker. So a process that could easily take years in 1450 that is multiple semi-transparent layers of paint. I can do two or three layers in a day and the spray varnish that I use replaces the brush varnish that they used in the old days, so um, even the varnishing step is quicker. I live and work here at the Los Angeles Brewery. It's the largest art complex in the United States, and I'm surrounded by at least 300 and probably more likely to be about 500 um, other artists. Painting is a very isolating profession. We spend a lot of time alone, focused in our minds. So to paint in community where there's people of like mind, other artists, is a great experience. Like um, a Rorschach ink blot, I expect the painted image to suggest to the viewer a whole range of possibilities. The paintings are kind of like dreams you have at night, for me anyway. They're therapeutic in that they often give me an answer to a question I've long had. They tell me something about myself that I didn't already know. So they help me get insights. And what excites me the most is when a viewer has the same experience. I myself was the third child, the third girl out of uh, what would finally be a four-person family. And my observations may be based on the fact that I was that third child. So I was the one that kind of uh, fell through the cracks. And I think that what I'm showing you here is the glittery outside of this suburban uh, SoCal world and the kind of um, troubled, tragic stuff that was going on behind the scenes. You know how they say, uh, if you can't draw a straight line, you can't be an artist? Well, I definitely can't draw a straight line. That is an example of weakness turned strength. Because when I started to do the floors for these paintings, there were natural distortions produced by my, my hand, my shaky hand and my curved world. You know, I'm just, I just don't see things in clear, sharp geometry. And so that very characteristic caused the floor, the tile floor, because it's hand painted, it got all wavery and curvy. And uh, I, I stepped back and looked at it and went, oh yeah, of course, this is taking something that I'm bad at, a clean mathematic grid, and turning it into the very meaning of the painting. Because the metaphor for a, a hard life on a child, you can easily imagine that would be a ground that was never sturdy, that was always shaking. My wavy mark becomes significant in a painting. Our personality really ends up in the in the brushwork and the color and the shapes. When I get an idea, it kind of tends to fall in my lap complete somehow. And then when I start to paint it, it grows into something entirely different from what I imagined it would be. That dream I've had since a young girl of living, breathing art, of making a reputation and a place for myself in the art world, I'm still pinching myself. I can't believe I get the chance. The show is going to be called A Very Cinematic Narrative. The inspiration was during Art Walk when one of my old friends, Esther Delgado, came here to the atrium and saw my work and then by chance happened to go over uh, to see Bill's. And in her mind, she made an instant connection and suggested the show. We are both narrative artists. There's this vibe, it's almost in the visual, in the colors, in the shapes that, that fit together and remind me a lot of uh, early movies and Hollywood and stuff.